what's up guys welcome back to the channel and i think this is gonna be like a weekly thing now where i give an update on otani and how he's doing um i'm getting a lot of support on my otani videos and i very much appreciate that uh so much where i think i'm gonna start doing captions for the otani themed videos because i think the majority of the people watching my otani videos are my japanese fans so i appreciate you guys so i'm gonna have the captions and uh yeah i did a video about otani a couple weeks ago where i kind of talked about how he's doing and where he's at and he hasn't stopped since then just today he hit the game winning home run we were down by one final out final out mike tried on base he rips it down the right field line uh otani rips it down the right field line uh two run home run take the lead we win the game so otani has not stopped and this home run down the right field line gives him 12 this is tied for the league leading just the, by saying league leading you have to assume that he's up there in mvp voting so i'm gonna tell you guys my opinion where i think he's at in the mvp voting uh because i really want to talk about mvp voting because um i don't want to talk about angels baseball because there's nothing <laughs> exciting to talk about there um so yeah anyway uh, along with leading the league or tied for the league leading in home runs um he's 11th in slugging um on base is 300 and ops is 900 his slugging is really good he's hitting the skin off the ball but his on base goes down a little bit stay still way above average uh compared to the league um and his ops is 900 so him hitting this good makes up for him not getting as many walks um and as you can see his home runs he's tied for the league leading um so i would still say he's among top 10 in hitters and this is a fun part this is why i love doing videos where i talk about otani because he's not just a hitter he's a pitcher so we can put these batting stats aside for a second and put his batting production aside because he also has pitching production 2.10 era 1.2 whip and here's the bigger thing the biggest thing 40 k's through 25 innings so that's somewhat close to two strikeouts per inning his stuff is unreal and his hitting's unreal so this has added uh both of these add on to a 2.3 war so i love war because just like it just gives you a gauge um i gave you guys some of his uh hitting and pitching stats but to kind of, I guess, combine them is with war, uh, 2.3 war. This is sixth in the MLB, fifth among AL players. But here's a problem. ESPN, looking at their article now, they don't have him listed here as a 2.3 war. This is because they only count hitting stats and pitching stats. They count it separately, which is really weird to me because even though he's the same player they're counting it as he's two separate players and the reason this is relevant is because i don't know how this is going to work out in the mvp voting there could be some voters that say oh you can only win mvp as a position player or you can only win mvp as a pitcher which is just it doesn't make sense to me because this is all otani he's one person he's not two separate people this also goes to show in fantasy baseball, if any of you guys play fantasy baseball, you can either draft him as a pitcher or you can draft him as a hitter. There's no just one Otani. There's, he's on two separate players. It, it's just weird. It doesn't make any sense to me. Again, I don't know how this is going to work for the voting, but the stats are in front of you. 2.3 war. Um, and I want to show you guys the other guys who are in front of him in the war standings so this is somewhat of like a gauge again of what the mvp leaderboards are um in my opinion so we got first in war in the al al byron buxton i see him staying there uh throughout the year buxton's gonna be like i think the leading candidate he's definitely in front of otani right now then there's john means and then there's isaiah kiner falefa i think these two guys are having crazy starts but these are two guys like let's be real i don't think they're gonna be like this the rest of the year they either are big surprise players um otani's been hyped we've seen the skill of otani before these two guys we haven't seen skill in this caliber so i don't think they're gonna continue i think they're gonna fall off 
Um, I hate to prey on their downfall, but that's the way it is. Garrett Cole is next, fourth in the AL. Um, you know, Garrett Cole's amazing. He's probably going to be in there for Cy Young. Um, I see him staying here. So, um, th but the problem is MLB is not very kind to pitchers when it comes to MVP voting. Um, Jacob DeGrom has somehow not won MVP through his insane season. So, it's almost like you have to have a perfect pitching season to win MVP. So, we can somewhat count Garrett Cole out. Um, I guess I'm kind of preying on his downfall too. Uh, so, I see the leading candidates, Buxton and Otani. I don't see anyone else. I mean, those are the... Uh, John Means. Well, John Means and Isaiah kiner Falefa are up there too. Um, but my prediction is, again, they're going to fall off. I think uh, my prediction, like... Throughout the season, it's going to be Buxton, Otani, and Trout. <laughs> Maybe a little biased. Maybe a little biased because Trout and Otani are two angels. Um, we're just it's just hoping on Otani stays healthy. We see what he's done this year. I think he's going to easily continue uh, the way that he's doing right now. Um, and yeah, let me know if you want more Otani update videos. I'm going to go to the stadium. I'm going to film him more. Um, the support for him for the videos of him has been, have been amazing um and yeah guys thank you guys for watching otani for mvp uh again let me know if you want more otani updates this is these uh, i think this last two weeks updates on otani and his performance uh hopefully he keeps it up leave a like if you like the video um and yeah peace out